I'm from Chambersburg, Pennsylvania. It's a small town on the East Coast. Uh, it's about 10 miles north of the Mason-Dixon line, which is actually the border that separated the South from the North in the Civil War. So it's kind of a historical landmark. Uh, the town itself was burned back in the Civil War, so it's got, it's rich in history. A uh, small town, about 30,000 people, roughly. I'm actually a sixth generation stall. My family's been in the same valley for six generations, so coming out of there uh, was a big move. Uh, it's not something you see too often. Um, so my dad's a big car guy. He's always been a car guy. And one of his biggest dreams is to drive cross country. And I've kind of been a car guy. He has an auto body shop at our house. He's self-employed. So growing up, I was kind of always tinkering around with you know, whatever he was doing. He has a 1970 GTO convertible. Uh, it's a pretty desirable car. It's semi-rare and it is a beautiful car, but he crashed it uh, about 10 years ago, 10 or 12 years ago. I forget what the exact date is. Totaled it. So the car was in absolute ruins and he put it in the garage and just let it sit there for 10 years. So one night I was just like, you know what, I'm going up to the shop, where's your keys? He's like, they're on the counter. So I grabbed them and went up to the shop myself. Uh, started just, you know, taking the seats out, just little things that I knew how to do that he had taught me. Um, and, you know, about a half hour later, he came up with a big smile on his face. He's like, you really want to do this? I was like, yeah, man, let's do it. He's like, let's drive this thing cross country. He's like, all right, let's do it. And so we decided to do a complete restoration, just him and I. Um, and that's taking every nut and bolt off, stripping everything down and building it from the ground up. And hopefully by my senior year, the goal is to drive me out and drop me off for the start of school. So, I don't know, man. It's like 3,000 miles or something. It's like 50 hours. It's a long drive, but it's going to be fun. So we're going to BYU this weekend. Um, it's probably one of our bigger matches of the year. Uh, it's a great place to play. The atmosphere is unreal. Um, and UCLA hasn't won a BYU in a while. A uh, few seasons, I know that. Uh, so it's, it'll be huge to go in there early in the season. Maybe take a match or two off of them would be great and to you know, get the ball rolling on the MPSF.